Hola and welcome to today's Pro Spanish lesson. Uh, this has been a an area that's been often requested, and um, so today we're we're going to nail the present subjunctive. To say I hope to win, I hope to win, is espero, I hope, to win, ganar, espero ganar, espero ganar, I hope to win. But if you want to say, I hope that you win, or I hope that she wins, we need to use the subjunctive. Hope that, so hope that something, as opposed to hope to, I hope to win, I hope to do something, where you just put the infinitive, you just put the full verb, ganar. Hope that will always be followed by a subjunctive, always. So, I hope that you win, I hope that you win, will be espero que ganes, espero que ganes, I hope that you subjunctive win, espero que ganes. So let's just have a quick look how the actual subjunctive is formed. It's very straightforward. Step one, take the I of the verb. So in the case of, let's say, tener, have, start with I have, that's tengo, tengo. Take off the O. And then add the opposite of what it would normally be given its AR, ER, IR ending. So for example, tener is ER. So normally, if you're going to be saying you have, it would end in ES because it's tienes. And with a subjunctive, you just do the opposite of that, as though it's not an ER verb, as though it's an AR verb. So it would end in AS. So you'd have the T-E-N-G part, because you've taken off the O, and you'd have the opposite end in AS, tengas. So tengas is you have subjunctive. Let's take another one. Let's take, for example, um, well, let's take an AR verb. Let's take, for example, you play subjunctive. You play. So start off with I play. Take off the O. And normally, if it's you play, juegas, it end in AS. So take the opposite end in, as though it's not an AR, so ER, IR, and add whatever end in that would be, which would be ES, so juegues. So juegues is you play subjunctive. Okay, let's try one more. Let's say you go out subjunctive. So I go out, I go out is salgo. Salgo. And the infinitive is salir. So normally it would be an ES. Sales would be for you go out. And then an ES. So we take the opposite. So that's going to be AS. So salgas. Salgas is the subjunctive for you leave. So pretty straightforward. Okay, let's, let's use that with I hope. So how would you say? I hope that you go out. I hope that you go out. So, for example, I hope you go out tonight. What would that be? Espero que salgas. Espero que salgas. I hope that you go out. And we will go through the other conjugations, the other persons. So, he, she, we, etc. Uh, they're very intuitive, so it won't cause any problems. But we're going to stick with you for the moment. What about, I hope that you come to my party. I hope that you come to my party. Don't worry about the to my party bit if you're not sure, but let's focus on I hope that you come. Okay, so first of all you need I come, and I come is bengo, bengo, and as venir is an IR verb, normally the ending would be ES, as in bienes. So we'll 
do the opposite, end it in AS. So we'll have bengas. Bengas is the U subjunctive for come. So how would we say, I hope that you come to my party. Espero que vengas a mi fiesta. Espero que vengas a mi fiesta. I hope that you come to my party. And we'll just pause there while I mention the Levels 1 to 6 Pro Spanish course available for download at prospanish.co.uk. Uh, this course takes the complete beginner or near beginner right up to a conversational level of Spanish in a series of easy to follow steps. Okay, let's add another trigger for the subjunctive like I hope. Uh, I recommend or just to recommend that. So if ever it is, I recommend that, you recommend that, we recommend that, it will always be followed by the subjunctive automatically. So I recommend is recomiendo, recomiendo. How would we say, I recommend that you come to my party? I recommend that you come to my party. Recomiendo que vengas a mi fiesta. Recomiendo que vengas a mi fiesta. I recommend that you come to my party. Uh, there might be some more usual ones with recommend. So I recommend that you try it. Okay, I recommend that you try it. The normal you try would be the indicative, that's not the subjunctive, is pruebas, pruebas. And I try as pruebo, so just put the opposite end in. So pruebes, pruebes is the subjunctive for you try something, try. So how would you say, I recommend that you try the paella? I recommend that you try the paella. What would that be? Recomiendo que pruebes la paella. Recomiendo que pruebes la paella. Now all of these, this little group of triggers, they all cluster around the idea of wanting to change something in the world, basically. That's what it comes down to. It's hoping that something's different. different. It's recommending that somebody does something. It's wanting that something happens or somebody does something. So we can say that all of these ones, and we're going to come up with a few more triggers from this group, they all come around the idea of wanting that something is different. Okay, so it's que, that, and then the thing that you want different in the world. Okay, so obviously if you're recommending something to somebody, it's because you want them to try it. You think it's a good idea for them to try it. If you're suggesting that they do something, it's because you think if they do that, it's better. Okay, so you're wanting to affect some change on the world. You want something to be different. A bit later in the lesson, I will give you a, a catch-all rule which you'll be able to apply to test each phrase to see whether it needs a subjunctive or not, whether it triggers a subjunctive or not. But if I give it to you now, it will seem a little abstract. So we'll go through some of the categories that this subjunctive can be broken down into uh, and then the, the catch-all will make more sense. So let's go through some, um, let's have a practice and we'll add some of the triggers, some of the verbs that kind of automatically mean that you're talking about changing something, that something needs to be different. Uh, sometimes in some books they call this desire, your desire, or wanting to influence people and things, how things are, by recommending and suggesting. Okay, so let's let's um, let's go through the the practice then. Uh, so we'll have I hope that espero que we can have I recommend that recomiendo 
you can have something similar. I suggest that. Sugiero. Sugiero. I suggest that. And we'll add in. I insist that. Insisto. Insisto. Now, there are lots of them. We can't list them all here. But they all have this idea of making or wanting somebody to do something. Uh, we won't put this one down, but it could also be I demand. I demand that. Exijo. Okay, and then let's have something to practice that with. So we've already seen win. So you win. We'll use you for the moment. So ganes. Uh, we'll have you come back. Vuelvas. Vuelvas. Uh, let's have you tell the truth. Digas la verdad. Digas la verdad. So, digas. For some reason, some, junk, some subjunctive verbs sound better than others, and digas is something that I always think sounds quite nice. Digas la verdad. That you tell the truth, that you say the truth. Hagas esto. That you do this. Hagas esto. Do this. And vengas ahora. That you come now. That you come now. Vengas ahora. Okay, so let's practice that. So how would you say, I hope that you come back. I hope that you come back. Espero que vuelvas. Espero que vuelvas. How about... I suggest that you tell the truth. I suggest that you tell the truth or that you say the truth. What would that be? Sugiero que digas la verdad. Sugiero que digas la verdad. How about... I recommend that you do this. I recommend that you do this. Recomiendo que hagas esto. Recomiendo que hagas esto. And how about, I insist that you come now. I insist that you come now. What would that be? Insisto que vengas ahora. Insisto que vengas ahora. I insist that you come now. Okay, and we're just going to add two more here. Um, the reason why I've left it is just because in English the structure is slightly different. So if we said, I want to win, it's simply quiero ganar. Quiero ganar. But if we want to say, I want you to win, then that's an automatic trigger for the subjunctive. It's wanting somebody or something to do something. And the structure is the same as all the others we have here. So we would say, I want that you. So in English, we would say, I want you to do something. But in Spanish, it's I want that. Quiero que. Quiero que ganes. I want you to win. Quiero que ganes. And there's a couple more that work in the same way. In English, we would say, I need you to do something. I need you to win. I need you to tell the truth. Necesito que. So I need that. You tell the truth. Okay, and also we could say, uh, I prefer. So I prefer to win. But when it's, I prefer that something else, that somebody else does something or something else happens, then we would say, I prefer you to win. I prefer you to come back later. So in Spanish, we have to say, I prefer that you subjunctive. So, prefiero que. Okay, so how would we say... I want you to do this. I want you to do that. This. What would that be? Quiero que hagas esto. Quiero que hagas esto. I want you to do this. How about... I want you to come back. 
later. I want you to come back later. Later is just más tarde. I want you to come back later. What would that be? Quiero que vuelvas más tarde. Quiero que vuelvas más tarde. How about, I need you to tell the truth. I need you to tell the truth. Necesito que digas la verdad. Necesito que digas la verdad. How about, I prefer you to come now. I prefer you to come now, rather than later. Prefiero que vengas ahora. Prefiero que vengas ahora. And if you want to say he or she, you just drop the S. You just drop the S. So, gane, vuelva, diga, haga, venga. That's the he, she ending. Just drop the S. So, how would you say? I want him to tell the truth. I want him to tell the truth. So, in other words, I want that he tell the truth. Quiero que diga la verdad. Quiero que diga la verdad. How about, I suggest that he comes back. I suggest that he comes back. So it could be, I suggest that he comes back later, for example. What would that be? Sugiero que venga más tarde. Sugiero que venga más tarde. Okay, so that's our set one of verbs that trigger the subjunctive automatically after after that after que and we can see that they are all about wanting something or someone to do something okay so it's wanting or recommending or suggesting or hoping but it's all about the desire for something to be different to what it currently is. Okay, on to set two of our triggers. To say it's important to win. It's important to win is es importante ganar. Es importante ganar. It's important to win. If we want to say it's important that you win, it's important that you win, it's an automatic trigger for the subjunctive. So if ever you say it's important that plus a verb, that verb will always be the subjunctive. So what would it be for it's important that you win? What would that be? Es importante que ganes. Es importante que ganes. And nearly every other phrase that goes, it's something that, will be followed by a subjunctive. It's fantastic that you work here. It's terrible that you work here. It's interesting that you do that. It's better that you come back later. So these phrases, these impersonal statements or opinions, it's better that, it's good that, it's fantastic that, it's terrible that, it's important that, it's possible that, it's impossible that, these are followed by the subjunctive. The only occasions where they are not is where the word suggests certainty. That's the only time. So if the phrase is, it's true that, es verdad que, it's certain that, es cierto que, it's sure that, 
es seguro que those words are the only words that used in this type of expression do not trigger the subjunctive and that's because they suggest certainty or a fact and that goes to the heart of the subjunctive the subjunctive is used when there isn't a certainty or a fact being stated where there's an absence of that certainty so if you think back to our first set which was I hope that I recommend that I suggest that what followed the that was definitely not a certainty it wasn't a fact so I recommend that you come later coming later isn't a fact at the moment isn't a certainty I recommend that you try the pilot that you try the pilot isn't actually a, a fact yet it's not um, it's not a certainty and that's what the what the subjunctive is all about uh, as I mentioned before that can be a bit abstract so for the moment it's easier to learn the groups of triggers but as you practice those triggers you'll see more and more that it comes down to whether a certainty is being expressed or not okay so well let's practice this so let's have es importante uh, es fantástico it's fantastic es mejor it's better es terrible and es posible it's possible so how would we say it's important that you tell the truth it's important that you tell the truth what would that be es importante que digas la verdad es importante que digas la verdad how about it's better that you come now it's better that you come now and we might say in english it's better for you to come now but the structure would be it's better that you come now what would that be es mejor que vengas ahora es mejor que vengas ahora how about a question is it possible for you to come back is it possible for you to come back in other words is it possible that you come back what would that be es posible que vengas actually that would be is it possible for you to come and is it possible for you to come back es posible que vuelvas es posible que vuelvas is it possible for you to come back how about it's fantastic that you win it's fantastic that you win it might make more sense to say it's fantastic that you always win so just add in siempre always in there as well so it's fantastic that you always win what would that be es fantástico que siempre ganes es fantástico que siempre ganes okay and on to our third set of triggers for the subjunctive if i say i celebrate when you win i celebrate when you win celebro cuando ganas there is no subjunctive because the fact the certainty of you winning is there i only celebrate once you've won so you will have always won before i celebrate so that that winning part is a certainty in the context of me celebrating there's a certainty there there's no absence of fact or certainty but if i said i'm going to celebrate when you win voy a celebrar cuando ganes then there's a subjunctive and there's a subjunctive because you haven't won yet there is no certainty 
about you winning, because it's yet to happen. It's an action that's yet to be completed, so there can't be any certainty around it. Okay? And, well, let's practice this, and we'll add a few more similar um, instances as, as we go along. So let's use lo are, I'll do it. Lo are, I'll do it when, and then what we've seen before, the um, when you win, when you come back, etc. Okay? So how would you say, I'll do it when you tell the truth. I'll do it when you tell the truth. What would that be? Lo haré, lo haré cuando digas la verdad. Lo haré cuando digas la verdad. I'll do it when you tell the truth. Now, if the phrase was, I do it when you tell the truth, there wouldn't be a subjunctive. Because it would mean that you have told the truth when I do it. But what we're talking about here, I'll do it when you tell the truth. That when you tell the truth has yet to happen, so it's uncertain. And we could add in before. Antes de que. So I'll do it before you do something else. So again, uh, uncompleted action. And we can also say after. I'll do it after you tell the truth after you come here, after you win. Because again, it's still there hanging in the future without the certainty of actually being completed. So, cuando and antes de que and después de que. So how would you say, I'll do it before you come back. I'll do it before you come back. What would that be? Lo haré antes de que vuelvas. Lo haré antes de que vuelvas. I'll do it before you return, before you come back. How about, I'll do it when you come. I'll do it when you come. What would that be? Lo haré cuando vengas. Lo haré cuando vengas. How about, I'll do it after you tell the truth. I'll do it after you tell the truth. What would that be? Lo haré después de que digas la verdad. Lo haré después de que digas la verdad. How about, I'll do it when you do this. I'll do it when you do this. Lo haré cuando hagas esto. Lo haré cuando hagas esto. And as this lesson has turned into something much longer than I expected, uh, I'll do a part two very, very soon. Uh, so that concludes today's lesson. And as mentioned previously, if you're looking to become a confident and a competent speaker of Spanish, then head over to prospanish.co.uk where you can download the full Levels 1 to 6 course.